I'm Alan Kenny, Editorial Director with REIT.com, and I'm at REIT Week 2013, NARIT's Investor Forum in Chicago. Joining me is John Perkins, Managing Director and Co-Head of U.S. Real Estate Investment Banking with RBC Capital Markets. John, you were hired two years ago at RBC to help increase the coverage in the investment banking area. What are some of the big changes that you've seen in that course of time? I think the markets have really gone through quite a strong change relative to valuations for REIT equities, but then more broadly the cost of capital across all the securities that REITs have been raising over the two years that I've been in this seat um, have uh, improved remarkably. And so with the exception of a little bit of choppiness over the past couple weeks vis-a-vis -vis what the Fed will do in terms of the exit of the bond buying program, I think you see an incredible strength in the valuations. That has turned what was capital raising in 2011 when I joined RBC for balance sheet repair into capital raising for acquisitions and other more uh, growth oriented um, strategies. John, we've seen a handful of larger REIT mergers in the wake of the market downturn. Uh, do you expect to see kind of an uptick in that kind of activity? I think there will be um, a, a continued uh, strength in M&A activity largely out of the private market coming into the public markets. So like we saw with the Archstone sale by the Lehman Estate to Equity Residential and Avalon Bay, I think you'll see continued uh, interest by private portfolios looking for liquidity. Many of them are limited life um, uh, capital um, uh, vehicles that need to find some way of winding up. I think you'll see the public markets, if the valuations stay strong, uh, continuing to provide an exit for those larger portfolios and in some cases some of the sponsor portfolios as well. Uh, trading into the public markets. And so that M&A I think you'll see quite a bit of. The M&A uh, like we saw this week with Mid-America announcing with Colonial I think is more of a strategy about getting a larger capital base for more efficient capital raising and acquisition uh, pursuits over the next uh, few years. And so that I think will be more limited but the private into the public markets I think we'll see more of. Lastly, IPOs. Are there any particular sectors that we should be keeping an eye on there? I think um, there, there are a number of sectors that have started to look at the public markets again. I think industrial is one. There's a bit of a hole in terms of the capitalization in the public markets for industrial. And I think you'll see renewed interest there. We actually just took uh, Wells Properties Public up in Canada. Uh, they, they were a prior IPO candidate for the U.S. market. We uh, took them public on the Toronto Exchange. And I think you'll see other industrial REITs look at the market given, again, where the market's traveled relative to valuations. Um, if this sell-off over the past couple weeks persists, perhaps that'll give a pause to some of those activities, but I think that's one portion of the market. The other would be retail, where the strength in the underlying business continues to be strong such that the, the next leg of growth is really about um, increased leasing spreads for uh, space that's rolling over, and I think you'll begin to see private platforms be looking at the public markets as well from that standpoint. Okay, John, I really appreciate your insight. Thank you. And for more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to check out REIT.com.